here we will be creating a repository i'm giving a name as a short url i'm keeping a description then a repository visibility as a public then i'm not checking any kind any check boxes here so i will just go and uh, create a project just click on the create a repository this will create a repository for us on our uh, github account so this is the command that we need to run uh, basically on our project there are two types of commands first is uh, you can initialize the repository from beginning or you can push the existing text repository to our github account inside the project just copy paste the first command that is uh, creating a eco short url to readme.md this will create a file and that will write down the short url inside it after that one just initialize the repository like a git init this will initialize the git uh, git inside our project after that one just create a git ignore file uh, this should be a start with a dot inside that we will be excluding the project folder or the file that we don't want to push to our our uh, github account like a uh, SQL database, then URL project that is our uh, virtual environment. Then after that one, the migration files and the py catchy files. This these are the important files that we need to exclude. After excluding this file, just go to the our account and just copy paste the second command that is third command. Sorry, git add readme.md. And with that one, uh, we will just copy pasting that we that one inside our terminal and uh, that will add to our tracked file. So after uh, with that one also we also need to uh, add all the files from the project to track to, to track it down. So uh, just add a dot operator there and that will add the, all the files to there. Now after that one just write down the commit message and just uh, hit enter. That will give a message to our first commit. After that one just switch to the, our main branch because we were on the master branch previously. After that one just add the origin of the project. That is the git uh, origin where this project needs to be pushed. Let's after that one just uh, copy paste the another command and that will push all the project to our GitHub. Before that one you need to authenticate yourself that you are the person who has have the authenticity for this repo. Uh, add the username and password, click uh, login and just it will just uh, push all the data to our main GitHub account. So now just visit the GitHub account and you can see we have the project's uh, data on our repository just click on the code uh, or refresh the page that will show the project we can see the first commit is a message that we provided and uh, short url short inside the short url there is our project and app. after pushing the project to the github now let's move on to the python anywhere so here i have the deploying uh, documentation for python anywhere here you can see there are four steps involved inside here that is uploading the project to the python anywhere then setting up the virtual environment and installing the chunk or other dependency then setting up the or creating a new app inside the python anywhere with that one setting up the static files so you can see the first command we will have to run is like uh, taking the work github project to our this python on anywhere terminal or uh, you can say on machine so uh, you can do that one here as well with that one also here are the some of the commands for creating a virtual environment then setting up the requirements like installing the requirement.txt file and all these things so let's go and uh, copy our first git uh, shh file just copy the https uh, url from github and just come to the python anywhere uh, click on bash inside the console here you can uh, it will start a new terminal for us it will take some little bit time to get set up on initial okay let's do first of all ls to see anything uh, what is here so you can see redmi docs txt file is already there uh, let's clone the uh, what the uh, repository we have uploaded with this one with this command that is git clone repository uh, git https name this will create a new folder that is shorty one so now let's try to install our virtual environment first of all because that is a necessary here i am using a next command that is to make a virtual environment my virtual environment is a name of the virtual environment uh, with the python path of the and I'm remo removing a 10 with the 8. So this should be create a virtual environment for us. So this will install the, all the requirements for the Python that is setup tools, pip or will. 
once this has been done you can see there is a path of the my uh, virtual environment as well now let's install the pip install uh, sorry let's install the django here with the pip install django this will install the latest version of the django to our terminal once that has been installed now we don't have any requirement.txt file here so we don't have to run this next command that is requirement of installing the dependency from that but in the larger project we will have to install that one as well so in our case it's not there so it, we are going to ignore it so now let's uh, after this one we will have to create a, a app manually inside our python anywhere to create an app after creating an app we will have to set up some of the things for the same that is a folder path then virtual environment path and then whj file path now let's visit to the uh, dashboard our dashboard then inside here just click on the open web tab that will uh, open a window and just click on add a new web app so we are not uh, using any premium account here we will be going with the existing administration that is my username with the python anywhere click on next uh, choose a manual configuration then click on also next here it's showing that uh, we need to edit the whga file for this manual configuration just click on next okay our app is, has been created successfully so you can see we need to provide the source code path then virtual environment path and also if there are any status files we can also provide a static file url as well so now let's visit uh, our url you can see our app is working fine so now uh, let's go to the virtual environment where we can provide the name so you can see your uh, virtual environment path should be like your username then app name then virtual environment path to find out that one what we can do is like we could go to again uh, files uh, here you can see virtual environments uh, third link just click on that one and after clicking on that one now uh, you can see there is a my virtual environment as well copy that path just paste it inside the virtual environment path click on ok so this will have the path of the our virtual environment after that one let's provide the source code path i guess so yeah we should provide a source code so source code which should be a working directory or so the working directory for our project is like i will go to the administration then short url click on it then short url again that is the app our project name and here is how we have the our source code also remember that one the source code file uh, path should be where your manage.py file lives in so i'm just copying this path because there is a manage.py file inside here and providing that path to the source code click on ok this should be okay to go now the final part for this project is to edit whja file now to edit the whja file you need to provide some of the things like uh, here in the documentation you can see we need to enable this part of the django where you are importing importing os system and the configuration so here i am uh, in my web app i am just clicking on that file name whja configuration file that will open a new tab where there will be a, this uh, all the html so what we need to do is like remember we need to enable the django part and remove the existing whatever the part is there
remember my site will be the name of your project so it should be a short URL you can verify that one going to the, your file path that is home ad administration then name of the project once that has been that has been done just reload the, save the uh, this file and reload the app you can do by click on that button as well also go to the our web app and also do to refresh do refresh there as well so we have the complete uh, refresh of the our project so once that is done you can see there is a error that is administration python anywhere that one is need to be added to the allowed host because we are we haven't added that one to our allowed host right now so i will go to my github account and uh, i will find out that setting dot url dot uh, sorry setting dot py file and i will directly go into edit here itself on the github itself so in click on the edit paste allow to insert allow to host and save the file or commit the file to the directly main branch we are keeping the debug true and the secret key as insecure because this is not going to get uh, covered inside this tutorial but in the future we you should or if you are doing some uh, major update to the project you should change the secret key and also the debug should be a false on the production remember that one that setting so once that has been done we will have to take that uh, new version of our project to the, this uh, pro this on this console so i will just go to our short url directory doing a cd and uh, just do a git a git push sorry git pull so that will bring out all the necessary changes to our this terminal after doing that one we will also going to refresh our page as well just go to the app and reload the our administrator project it should now working but you can see we haven't applied the migrations and the so it will fail it will give us some error on the database level so you can see the short url app is not exist or the operation is not allowed so to do so we will going to uh, run the migrations for, for whole project and for app as well so that will sort this error as well now if i enter the again you can see the site is working fine we have the url if i click on it it opens the necessary page as well so this is it for this pro whole project or a whole uh, tutorial for deploying the your project to our python .com. so if you have any kind of a queries regarding the same do comment it out so i could reach uh, reach out immediately and uh, looking forward thank you so much